A couple of teams took a step towards bringing back a gold ball, but it ain't over until that very last out. It was a great first day, some clutch performances, some dominating performances, and a whole lot of fun. Let's get after it. We'll start with the late game of the day, the 3A state championship between Boonville and Rally. Bottom of the first, runners on first and second, Hannah Davis sent a ground ball right back up the middle, up the shoot. Caroline Thompson scampered home from second, and the Blue Devils took an early one to nothing lead. And usually one run isn't enough in a game, especially a championship, but the Blue Devils had Hallie Burns on the mound and the sophomore was nearly untouchable. In the first three innings, she faced nine batters, struck out eight. She carried a no hitter into the seventh inning, but you know, she gave up a hit, just one hit. Her final line, seven innings, one hit, one walk, zero runs, 14 strikeouts. Boonville won one to nothing, and tomorrow they play for a chance to win its first ever state championship. But here was the play of the day. Myrtle freshman Emma Meyer in the bottom of the seventh. Hawks were down one, and she walked it off with a two-run home run. Yes, ma'am, flex on them. And then watch the little pause at home plate. Uh, da, da, done. Celebration on in Myrtle and Myrtle, Myrtle, Myrtle. Myrtle led the entire game. Hawk pitcher Kaylee Streich was pitching a gem. Then Stringer scored four runs in the top of the seventh, setting up Meyer's magical moment in the bottom of the seventh. Myrtle grabbed a one to nothing series lead with a five to four victory in dramatic fashion. Game two will kick off festivities tomorrow at noon. In the 2A final, Mantachi freshman Ramsey Montgomery was on the mound for the Mustangs. And after not giving up a run in the North half finals, both games, she shut out the games both times. The Lake Hornets got to the freshman pitcher. Mississippi State commit Taylor Duncan, that's, that was her, she smashed a double. That gave Lake a 6-1 to one advantage. Kate Gladney, she pitched pretty well for the Hornets, well enough to keep the Mustangs at bay. Lake took game one, 12-4. Mantachi will look to bounce back tomorrow. That's after the 1A final. 